Holy Spirit is just telling me about you can have commitment, you can have loyalty. But even some, how can you have that or how can even somebody know how to be committed or be loyal when they don't know how to love? Hmm. So if you well, speak on that. don't have love, I'm talking about real love, agape love, unconditional love. If you don't have love and haven't experienced the love of God, but then you don't love yourself. So we have to get to a place that we know how to receive love, but also how to give love and how to love ourselves. And even just being out here, it's a part of loving yourself. Some people are going through so much, and I have experienced it before. So today I'm gonna to talk about, and just dealing with some issues on dealing with mental health and your overall mental state, because a lot of us are struggling mm. with mental health and with emotions that are unplaced and not knowing how to just deal with life. A lot of people are just giving up. Mm. Some people have took their life. Some people are just out here, don't lost their minds because of the mental state and not really getting help. And I think that mental health and even going to see a therapist or talking to someone has been shunned upon, it has been looked down on, or you're not man or you're weak if you do. And all that is a bunch of crap. You know, I feel like even me, I have a strong relationship with God. I pray, I believe, I worship, I'm a giver. And I've been in ministry for a while and I've been walking with God. And so I know God. But even in times, the enemy has tried to come and the battlefield is in the mind. That's why the Bible tells us to cast down every thought and imagination that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. So when the Bible says cast down, it means bring down every high and lofty thought, thoughts. Because the enemy will put thoughts in your head. And just because you think it, that don't mean that's what you want to do. That don't mean that's you. He can put all kinds, if I could just... <laughs> anything and every thought things that i know is not me but i know me so even in that i have to cast it down so you're talking about ungodly thoughts ungodly thoughts unworldly thoughts thoughts that's unthinkable that he would you know even out of thoughts of anger here do this or you should do that or show them this or you could do that or even when i've been on a fast he'll tell me the enemy come and speak to me a spirit that's not a god that's why the god says <laughs> try the spirit by the spirit to know the, try the spirit by the spirit to know if it's a God. And so even in that, through people, spirits will get in people, spirits will come in your mind. And so when you're listening to, watching, entertaining other things, people, that's why the Bible tells us in Proverbs to guard your heart and your mind, because out of it, out of it, guard your heart and your mind, because out of it it affects every, everything you do. So with that, and me thinking about that scripture, even for my life, it tells me, Monty, certain things you can't watch, certain things you can't listen to, certain people you can't be around. Because all that gets into my ear gate, then it gets into my mind, gets into my heart, and then it rests there. And in an opportune time, it comes up. Or those thoughts, when I'm alone, start just ramming in my head. Right. And make, oh, you're not enough. Look at you, you're a failure. Look what happened this and that and the other. Or when I'm focused on my regiment, things that I know I want, things I shouldn't eat, like, you can have that. When somebody come, you want to go out to them? You want this? Try this. You can have this. And it's just a little sort of thought. And then you know how slick and cunning the enemy is? Mm. Once you do it, then he'll tell you, look at you. You so weak and stupid. Why you do that? And then look what's going to happen. You know, and so many times he will trick you up in that. He make you think. So what you're talking about is continue to walk in the light, stay in the light. I mean, you have to, and you have to be around like-minded people. Right. And it's not saying that it's an easy thing because we, we're living in a real world with a real devil. Yeah. It's just so much temptation. Right. But when you're in a fight, you have to fight, and we're fighting for our life and really for our mind. Because if you lose your mind and you lose a sense of self-worth and who you are, then all else is out the window. Right. So you have to hold on to, in these times, people are so worried about the presidency and all that work. Don't worry about none of that. Give all that to God. Just hold close tight to God and just in prayer and pray. Did I do something? I something <laughs> Keep wrong. going. Don't worry about it. Um, turn it back on. You probably turned the mic off by accident. Sorry, y'all. So, hold on. Wait a minute. Give us a sec. Just, just press the button now. You press it down? Yeah, I press it down. 
Hello. There you go. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> See? <laughs> but yeah, so we gotta hold on and hold tight to God. And it's times like, okay, I gave a um, one time I was ministering, and I said um, to be equipped. And so you have to equip yourself, and it's about preparation. So even an analogy that I had with someone um, a little bit earlier, but it's about preparation. And God always telling us <laughs> to be ready, be always. You know what mm. Study to show yourself approved. Mm -hmm. And so when he's saying study to show yourself approved, because people will come up and then challenge you with the word of God. But when they go to the poor soldiers, you know, I've never been in an army, but I, I live near an army base. Um, and I've had friends and I even had clients at one time that was in the military. And so even sometimes when they come get their head and they still have on their full uniform, a certain fatigue, I don't know why they have to wear those certain, regardless of those that have been in military or served, y'all know why y'all have to wear certain like uniforms. I don't know if it's to keep the heat off or to keep whatever, but they got the army fatigue pants and the jacket. And then, you know, they have other things that they have to wear. Even like police, they have to put on vests. So they have to arm themselves up. So you go prepared for your job or the battle. So even when they go over to fight the war, they know they need weapons and missiles and guns or whatever. They don't send those soldiers over there just with the army fatigue pants on and the boots. And so it reminds me of this, the scripture in Ephesians 6 when it says to put on the whole armor of God. Mm. Put on the whole armor of God that you may. And that's the thing that give me, it says that you may. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand the tricks the tactics, the schemes right. of the enemy. And I said this in the podcast, you know, a couple weeks ago, that the enemy gonna come. He's gonna come with a trick. Say that on the first one. Yeah, he's gonna come with a trick. Yeah. He's gonna come with a tactic. He's gonna come with a scheme. Mm -hmm. He's gonna come and put suggested thoughts in your head. Mm. And a lot of people, they go to other coping mechanisms, whether it's drinking, smoking, sex, whatever that it may be. And we think mm. that if we do all that, the problem and the issue is when we're gone. And it's not, because we're just masking it and we're covering it up and we're trying to find a worldly solution to a problem that's more spiritual than you can even think of. But the enemy want to get you so far gone, you just have fun, let your head down, you can do that. And you'll create another problem. And unfortunately, some of those that are struggling with mental health, and mental health is very real because it's a chemical imbalance and certain foods and certain things we're eating you know, that I'll get into later on, but a lot of things, it's not that we're messed up or we're, you know, some sick person or something like that, or we're weird or whatever. Because even for me, I have thoughts, and the enemy has tried to come to me and tell me when I lost my mom and when things wasn't going right, when I went through a domestic situation, right? Like, you know, just go ahead and end your life. You don't need to live. You know what I'm saying? What are, you, what are you living for? You know, this going wrong, that's going wrong, you don't have no family. You know, he'll put all kind of thoughts in my head. And how did you deal with it? Because I have a relationship with God, and I thank God for the relationship that I had with him and holding on to that, and I knew praise is my weapon. And so mm. I thank God that I knew that. But what about the ones that don't know that? Mm. And so what do they do? They're being tricked and being used by the enemy to do all kind of things and then after you do it then he tells you look at you you stupid why you do that look at you you ain't nothing you he plan he tell you to do something and then after you do it he tell you how stupid and crazy and how failure you are for doing it but we can't allow the enemy to keep talking to us without saying anything back for the bible says we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities evil spirits and so you know i don't want to sound superficial whatever but we're in a world that really exists with evil evil people, evil things, spirits get in people that they fight against you, people play against you. And so even in that, like today, and I said, God, I want to talk about love. Love yourself. Love yourself enough to invest in yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's amazing how people can put time and energy into other people, a job, <laughs> a spouse, a friend, and they won't put that same amount of energy and time into their self in a relationship, trying to cause a relationship with God, someone that wakes you up every day, that's going to bless you, that keeps you. Like, we don't want to get a deeper relationship with him, but we can invest time and energy into other people and things that constantly and continuously to disappoint us. And not to say, because I believe that community is beautiful, 
that we all need that any even in fellowship but the bible tells us how can two walk together except they agree and so sometimes <laughs> more than uh, more than more than anything we we kind of deceive ourselves and we put ourselves almost like in a truth bag or we want to make believe that someone else can make us happy and it's only us that can make us happy so i'm reaching out and, and challenging you all as we go on this journey and this walk with god and just exposing <laughs> deceit and bringing truth uh. in every way that we can and just saying how every day i can deal with life issues but balance it out with prayer uh -huh. and with god uh -huh. And I'm um, walking with him, but embracing the life that God has given me and knowing that I am somebody, that I am a child of God, that I deserve to be loved, respected. And if you don't believe that for yourself, then you really can't give I totally agree with what you just said, though. I wanted to say something real fast because, mm -hmm. you know, first you have to love God, but you have to love yourself. You can't love anybody else until you have self-love. Self-love is very powerful. Yes. So it starts with loving, loving God and loving yourself. Mm -hmm. Then when you do meet a significant other in your life, we're talking about, you know, romantic relationships or whatever, you can show love. You can give love from the heart because you have self-love. You can't love anybody else if you don't love yourself. Absolutely. I, I totally, totally agree. And sometimes people think, well, I love myself or I'm, 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 I'm doing good or it's, it's that's not my issue that's not my problem but then i actually do evaluation do inventory of how you treat yourself because if we neglect our bodies put junk in the body eat anything we don't spend i mean we get 24 hours in a day and um if we can't spend just say i'm gonna say because i'm not gonna say the time that i put into the gym but i'm just gonna say 30 minutes right we put in no time to exercise the bible not money, but I'm a, you know, always, I'm always gonna say the Bible says. But the Bible <laughs> says exercise does profit. So Jesus walked. <laughs> so we need to walk it like we're talking. Right. Walk, you know what I'm saying? Even in that, right. it just get endorphins, and it, it 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 gives you like even the day is nice, and you walk in and go outside and just get outside and just walk for 30 minutes. And even sometimes you gotta multitask. You gotta kind of trick your mind. If you gotta. Plus that you know, speaking of uh, mental health, if you're depressed, a lot of times you know. You have to get out the house. You got to exercise. Work with yourself. Yeah. If you're feeling depressed, don't sit in the house and and you know and wallop and cry and boo hoo. Get out the house. Exercise. Guess what? Good exercise and those natural natural endorphins will kick in and make you feel better. Yeah. Uh, listen to some comedy. Yeah, laughter. You, you know, laughter is good for your soul. Yes. Do things that's gonna that's healthy for you. Yeah. That's gonna bring you out of out of the depression. Right. You, know, you, you know, call your loved ones up. People that love you. That's going to give you some positivity. Yeah, positive.